Okay. What is up, guys? This is Mike. Most of you know of me as Onslaught. And uh, real quick, I want to get this out, get this out of the way. This is my first time doing this, so you guys are gonna have to uh, have to bear with me. Uh, I'm obviously recording this with my cell phone, and. Uh, Look, I have to readjust so you guys can still see me. Um, the first time I was doing it, like I was doing the whole camera up here thing, and uh, that really wasn't working. It was kind of weird. And uh, now I'm in the bathroom, which is a little more weird, I guess. But uh, anyway, what I'm doing, I'm doing a walkthrough kind of setup video. I'm going to show you guys the room that my wife has been uh, graciously enough allowing me to kind of call my own. And uh, then I'm going to jump into the computer and show you guys kind of the workflow process that I go through and uh, everything that it takes to uh, to put my videos together. So, uh should be kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the scruffiness and the and the attire, guys. It's uh, it's the weekend, and uh, you guys aren't here to see me anyway. So uh, let's get started. All right. So my gaming room is upstairs. There is my downstairs. Um, our bedroom, master bedroom, is downstairs, um, which is nice. It's my dog. Check her out, Miss Riley. She's a she's a monster. She's about 90 pounds. Um, I'm about six foot six one, and when she stands up, she can. Uh, she can put her paws on my shoulder, which is uh, pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, master bedroom is downstairs, which is nice because if the wife is trying to sleep or something, I can be upstairs and uh, and not bother her. Um, this is the gaming room. Uh, that right there is kind of the wall of chaos. And uh, there's a bed for when guests come over. We have another guest room, and uh, people usually don't stay in here, but they can if they want to. Um, this right here, this is an ode to, uh, to Merka Durka. This is not the, the gaming chair that I use, though. Uh, but I think that could be considered an old person chair. It, uh, it looks like it has a little history to it. Um, but that's what friends use whenever they come over and, and hang out up here. Um, a plant there for, for oxygen. You know, I have to have oxygen to, uh, to survive. So let's, uh, let's look at everything here. Um, corner desk there with the computer and stuff. Uh, tower of Power, a la Dunkus, I think, has a Tower of Power, too. And, uh, and my TV there. Um, very nice. And, uh, and that's it, guys. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the setup video. I'm just joking. I'm kidding. I'm a jokester. Um, so let's jump into it. TV here. This is a 32-inch Sony uh, HD TV 720p LCD. It's a ton of letters, but uh, that's what describes this guy. Um, definitely, I mean, it's more than enough for what I use it for. So uh haven't uh, had any problems, can't complain. Look at my dog. Hey, stretching for YouTube, huh? Yeah. Um, all right, so that's my TV. Um, this here is a standard definition Xbox. If anybody needs a standard definition non-HD Xbox, hit me up. Uh, I'm not using it at all. Actually, I bought a new HD Xbox when, uh, when I got into the editing commentary stuff. So uh, I have no use for this guy. He works fine. Um, so if anybody's interested, let me know. All right, so let's jump into uh, this guy. This is where... Half of the magic happens, I guess. The other half happens over here with the uh, with the editing stuff. But uh, real quick, this is my chair that uh, that I game in. Um, it's a decent chair, leather chair. I've had it for a couple years now, and uh, I cannot complain. Um, so let me slide it out of the way here. Um, picture there, you know, to to kind of remind me to keep my priorities in check. There, family first. Uh, this is my modem that my internet provider provided me. <laughs> um, this is a D-Link router, wireless router, nothing. Nice little touch lamp. Um, that actually helped a little bit, didn't it? Um, wireless router, nothing special. It's not like a gaming specific router or anything, just your standard uh, router. This guy is uh, non-gaming related. This is the uh, my iPod Touch and some headphones. This is what I use when I work out and run. Um, these headphones here, if anybody's looking for a good pair of headphones to be active in, you know, to work out or run in, um, these things are amazing. There's some Sennheisers, and uh, I'll be happy to give you guys some information if uh, if you're looking for something. I've had them for about a year and a half and uh, have no complaints. All right, so this next tier here, this is what uh, you guys are probably most interested in, the uh, the cup there. Yeah, that guy. No, this guy. This is my capture device. This is not the... Uh, the ever popular Hop Hog HD PVR that everyone has seen. This is an Aver Media. This is uh, very similar to the Hop Hog, though. When I was in doing my research on getting into commentary, um, I looked at the Hop Hog and uh, I found came across this guy. He's only been out for I don't know maybe four months now, but uh, he's made by a company called Aver Media. He's called a HD USB HD PVR, I think, and it's basically the same thing as the Hop Hog, just a uh, little sleeker design I think I think it looks a little nicer um, but uh, it actually uses the same capturing program and software that the hop I uses which uh, I was surprised to uh, to find out but uh, you guys have seen my content and uh, it, I mean it's de I think the quality is decent so it obviously works for me so um, I'll have some information in the description about it if uh, anybody is interested uh, in picking themselves up one so oh also it was a uh, 
Did I tell you guys the price? It was about 160 bucks as opposed to at Hot Pog, which is usually around 200 And I got it off of Amazon.com. I'm not sure what the price is now, but at the time it was significantly cheaper than the, uh, than the Hot Pog. So, next tier here, this is my Xbox 360. Nothing special about him. He, um, he just has a 250 gig hard drive that um, allows me to save games and stuff too. I just recently actually got that. This is the uh, transfer disc that you use to transfer information. Uh, some of the games I've been playing recently, Call of Duty World at War, haven't played it a ton. I actually just bought it like a month ago. Um, and then I think under him here is, uh, yeah, Call of Duty 4. I've been playing that with Socrates a little bit here and there, not, uh, not a ton. Um, and Halo 3 is here to remind me that uh, I need to get back into Halo uh, because Halo Reach is coming out. And the Halo series is really where my roots are. Um, I got in really into the first-person shooter stuff uh, with Halo 1. Um, I, I obviously played um, GoldenEye on the Nintendo 64, but really got into first-person shooters with, uh, with the Halo series. So... So Xbox and games. Modern Warfare 2 is actually in the in the tray right now. This guy here. This is my wireless transmitter receiver for my headset. Um, it. Uh, I have some of these guys. Some Turtle Beach X31s. They're about a hundred bucks at Best Buy. So they're not the uh, the top of the line, but they're definitely perfect for me being a being a casual gamer and all. They. Uh, I don't need a three hundred dollar set of, of headphones to game in. Um, they run off of. Let's set that down there. Right off of these guys, just some AAA rechargeable batteries. I had a, I have a several set of several. I have a set of four of these that I cycle through, and uh, they keep them running. Um, this guy here, this is the. Uh, you know, like that sound effect, don't you? This is your mic outline, and this is the only cable you have to have connected to uh, to the headset. And if for some reason you're not needing to communicate with teammates, I mean, you can go completely wireless. You know, which is uh, which is nice. I've had these guys since uh, Christmas, and. Uh, haven't had any problems or complaints out of them. So, um, this is the controller that I use here. Your standard Xbox 360 controller. Nothing. Uh, I don't need anything special. I don't need uh, control freaks or anything. Everything uh, on the standard Xbox controller works for me. Um, it's wired. You'll notice that. Uh, I never use wireless. I don't like the the big battery pack on the back. I have pretty uh, pretty big hands, and the, my fingers are long enough where they would. The, the battery pack on the back bothers me. Um, aside from the weight and feel of the... Uh, I just turned on my Xbox. <laughs> aside from the uh, the weight and feel of the uh, wireless compared to the wired controller. Um, I get a new one of these about every three months. I get them pretty often because uh, I like these little nipples. I'm a nipple man that are on the joysticks here. And um, when they wear down, that kind of lets me know that uh, the joysticks are getting a little loose. And uh, it's time to get a... Time to get a new one. So uh, that's it, guys. Wired Xbox controller, nothing uh, unique. Um, pretty naked controller there. So we've gone through all of this stuff. Look at all that chaos there. That's a mess, I know. All right, let's jump into uh, computer stuff before I get into uh, my editing. All right, so you can see I got. I'm actually working on a field stripping video right now. I don't know if that's what I'll. Sh I'm not going to show you guys probably this video, but uh, this video I'm working on in the workflow. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. All right, this is what I have. It's a Dell Studio um, XPS 16. It was about uh, 725 bucks uh, two months ago, two or three months ago. Um, and that's a pretty good deal. At the time, they were going for about $1,200, so I got it pretty cheap. But uh, I got a laptop. I know a lot of people um, have desktops because desktops are cheaper. They're easy to upgrade and um, they, the processing power you can get out of those things is amazing. But uh, because I'm married and uh, I have a wife, uh, and selling this idea to her of me buying a laptop. To, I mean, I bought this pretty much solely to to do to do YouTube stuff on. Um, I, mentioning a laptop and telling her that look, I'll be able to work downstairs, be around you while I'm messing with videos and stuff. It was it was kind of okay with her. Um, if I had a desktop, I would be kind of stuck up in this room uh, anytime I wanted to do that stuff. So uh, that's why the laptop is uh, is nice and it works for me. Uh, just an external monitor, a monitor, <laughs> monitor there for. Um, just to have more more screen real estate, you know, it's uh, just a 19 inch old school Dell monitor, nothing uh, special. This is uh, the mic that I use. It's uh, once again nothing special with it. With it, it's a Dell. It's not a Dell. It's a Logitech um, mic. I got it from Best Buy. It was about 10 or 15 bucks, so uh, it's really cheap actually. And uh, you guys have heard my commentaries, and they sound pretty good. So um, what lets me edit any audio stuff are these things. Some Bose headphones are about a hundred bucks, but. Uh, one of the best investments that uh, that I've made. They let me hear any type of static or white noise uh, that would be in the audio, and uh, I can clean it up with editing programs. So um, those are guys that I use there, and uh, I think that's uh, scanner, copier, all that stuff, and a sub there. I don't need uh, you guys don't care about any of that. So that's about it. Uh, some shoes down there. 
Um, so yeah, I think uh, that's it. I'll give you guys one quick little pan of everything again, I guess. Kind of let you see it all. Um, and the dog has came in here to, uh, to sleep on the bed. She, she uses this bed all the time. So, all right, Rye. All right, so let me walk back in here and uh, say goodbye to you guys. Or actually, I'm going to work you into the, the next transition here. Set this cat up right there. All right, so you guys have seen the room, seen everything I use. Now I'm going to jump into the computer and show you guys kind of my workflow process. And uh, that's it. So uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so you've kind of seen my physical setup and everything that I use to game. And uh, now I'm going to show you guys my digital setup. So what you're looking at here is my... Um, the desktop for my laptop that I showed you guys in the video and I'm gonna go ahead and suggest if you're watching this on a cell phone or something you may want to wait until you get to a, a full-size computer screen so you can really see what's going on and you can really maximize this guy out um, so first things first uh, check out that background yeah pretty badass I, uh, I dabble in photography from time to time so um, alright so the uh, this right here are all the different programs that I use to do any of the editing stuff that uh, that you see on my channel. Um, I actually do a lot of graphic stuff too. Anytime I do a dual com, I usually do the background for those. Um, I did the background for my YouTube channel. I do any of my avatars. Um, I actually help other people with logos too. Um, the Hubbit Gaming stuff, I worked with Woody and Sazbin on their logo. So I do a lot of that stuff just because I have fun doing it, you know. Um, so let's get into uh, the video stuff. The capturing program that I use is this guy. It's called... Uh, Total Media Extreme 2 and uh, this is what it looks like so all of this over here are all my settings that I use to capture I'm not gonna go over them but uh, whenever I want to record something I hit this capture button it takes a second here and uh, it's starting to record and uh, it's gonna record for a second and uh, and then I hit stop and uh, it's gonna save that file so I would uh, just close out of here I go to the uh, I've already predetermined what folder it goes to so I know exactly where it's gonna be it's gonna be right here so there's one other video in there right now, but uh, this video right here is what I just recorded. So that's where it goes. So I review it, and this is typically like some type of gameplay. If it was a decent gameplay, it gets moved out of this folder into the uh, the next folder, which is this guy, this gameplay folder. So you're going to see right now, I have a pretty big uh, pretty big library of videos right now that uh, have the potential to, uh, to make it to a series. So I have some nukes there and a, just a bunch of different stuff. And it's not just based on, I mean, the kill-death ratio at the front kind of gives me an idea of how I did the gameplay, but uh, it's more about how entertaining the, uh, the gameplay or how much I can uh, talk about or entertain you guys with from the gameplay. So if it's a decent enough, it gets moved to the next level, which is uh, it becomes a Be Like Mike, maybe a Field Stripping, maybe it goes to Hubbit Gaming or Machinima Respawn, and it gets dropped into one of these folders. So... I'm going to show you guys a video that uh, is going to be going up on Machinima soon, so you guys are kind of getting a sneak peek. All right, this is a field stripping video. Um, the editing program that I use for this stuff is uh, Sony Vegas Pro. It's probably the most popular editing program that, uh, that YouTube commentators for gameplay use. All right, we're going to ignore these missing files here. And uh, this is what it looks like. For you guys that aren't familiar with, uh, with any type of editing program, this area here is the, uh, the preview screen. So if I go to a point in the timeline, you're going to see that's uh, it's a point in the gameplay. This right here on the left are all the different uh, files that are in this project. So it's a bunch of image files and uh, a few different video files. Um, and this down here, these are what are known as timelines. So these are all the different overlays of information that uh, puts these things together. So at the top here, I have my overlay stuff. This is anytime I have some text or anything, you can see there that field stripping text over the video. That'll be in the top line. The, uh, the next line is actually the actual gameplay. And uh, anytime I do any extra editing to the gameplay it goes in that line the uh, the line after that is the audio line here and then the uh, that's the audio from the gameplay and then the last line here is uh, the commentary line so uh, that's it that's what it looks like I can show you guys real quick uh, Photoshop is a program that I use to uh, to do any of my graphical stuff so I'm gonna tab through some of the different graphics uh, that are gonna be in this field stripping video but you can kinda see these here and once again I apologize because I really don't have time to go into detail let me know in the comments if you want me to go into a little further detail about my editing stuff and I'll be happy to uh, happy to do that in the future so uh, I hope you guys uh, maybe learned a little something more about me um, remember to rate and comment this video uh, thumbs it up too. remember thumbs ups are huge they, they help my channel grow and um, I mean, I love hearing the, the feedback from all you guys, and I try to respond to uh, any comments that I get. So, uh, so that's it, guys. I will uh, catch up with you guys later and see you on Xbox Live. Later, guys.